Hi, I'm Nayid Ansari and in this video I'm going to show you how you can aim your weapon that is in the character hand to toward where the mouse is pointing, right? Like any third person shooter game. So without any further ado, let's begin. You remember in last video what we have done, we create a control and we control the rotation of our spine. So whenever we move this um, control, it will move our character or a spine tree of our character with it. We move this spine tree. Let me show you in here. If I go to character bones and select it only, we rotate this spine tree, right? No, I'm going to show you how you can rotate it with mouse or with our camera, right? So first of all, I want to smooth this out so you can see it can move over body or rotate over body correctly, everything cool. But if we add more spine, for example, you can see when I move here, okay, my upper spine will move more and my lower spine will move less and I, I want to implement that. So for doing that, like we did it in last video, we can just copy and paste this one, okay? Twice for one of them for spine two and one of them for spine one. So you know that when a spine three move like this, the spine two will move a little bit and a spine one move a little, a little bit less right so let's just implement that we copy and paste it let's just put this at the end like this and add this one here add another one in here okay we should just connect this execution pin to here this execution pin to here and this execution pin to here and the things that we just should do we should change this uh, bone that we want to change its rotation right this one i want to use it for a spine one and this one i want to use it for a spine two right <laughs> right now you can see it messed up our character but that's because we didn't connect nothing to the target okay so let's just connect these to the target as well everything cool but again it it looked like we have it before but in this weight it means this weight how much you want your control to affect the body of our character so for a spine one that is this spine at the bottom let me show you this is spine one i wanted to for example be 25 percent and a spine two i want to move with our control uh, like uh, 50 percent right and like that let's just change this weight this one to 25 and this one to 0.5 like 50 percent right so now when we move our control it will be a smoother you can see it right everything cool if you didn't watch my last video please watch it i did explain everything in this aim node in our control rig okay this video is all about control rig and how we can control it right so now that we have this and instead of controlling all of these bones with a control we want to control it with our mouse right let the player had play and want to play our game right so for doing that, first of all, we need a variable in here, okay? So for creating a variable, you should go to my blueprint in here and create a variable. And it, we, need, we need the type of vector, right? So let's just change that to the vector. And I want to call it aim at location, okay? Where we want to aim at, right? No, let's just grab it and get it from here the thing that we want to do with this variable we needed to convert it to word location okay so we say from word and with that we convert it to word location and now we can just connect it to here now it is connected to all the target of our spines okay everything cool we don't need this uh, control anymore 
we can just delete it because we know how it works so let's just put this here everything cool in here no we want to control it in our character class right so for that let's just open up our character class that is in game mode in character class and in our character class i want to do it at the bottom in here first of all i want to get the camera okay the camera the third person camera that we have okay and with that i want to get forward vector okay because when we move our camera let me show you if you compile and run our game you can see when we move like this the camera is moving right you can see the camera is moving but our character is not moving so with the camera our character should move like this the upper body should move like this right so so we get the forward vector of our camera and we tell it to go to look at that direction with our control rig right so with that forward vector we should multiply it because uh, when we get a forward vector is a vector between zero and one okay and it will give us a forward vector of our camera and we want to have something like the control that we have in control rig something like this right that is ahead of our camera or ahead of our character right so with that we can just multiply multiply it by something like 500 and after multiplying it we should add it to our camera location in the world right so we again grab from third person camera and we get world location right and with that we add it to our forward vector that we uh, put it ahead of us and know with that we have a location that we want to look at right so let's just create a variable in here i want to call it location to look at or aim at okay and the type of that is a vector no we want to set it in here right so we can set it like this let's just find the event graph event tick in here and put this at event tick okay so we have event tick event tick um, always update the left hand position that i did uh, i did teach you how you can use that to attach our left hand to our gun no we want to set where we want our character to look at right so with that we set where do we want to look at right so now that we have this let's just go and open up our let me show you the animation blueprint in animation blueprint you remember we used 21ik to connect our uh, the hands of our character to our gun the left hand and the right hand right so now i want to add another thing in here that is called control rig so with control rig we want to use our own control rig, control rig that we just create click on it in here go down and choose the class that we just create we create a control rig in in last video right so in here it's called cr dragon aiming okay cr dragon aiming and you can see there is an input in here that it's called aim at if you go here you can see in my blueprint you can see there is aim at location we need this right so if we compile and again go here and there is a variable in here that called aim at this is not the one that we want we need this aim at location that we create and tell it to look at this okay so in here we should check this we should uh tell it to be editable okay and after that hit compile now if we go to our animation blueprint click in here you can see the aim at location is in here so if we check this to use this pin you can see the aim at location is in here now if we connect this to here and connect this to here now if we compile nothing will happen nothing cool will happen but if we set this aim at location it will be cool so let's just go to event graph and in here 
again we should create another variable and in here we i want to call it look at location okay and it is type of vector no i want to set it with the one that we calculate in our character right so let's just set it in here connect this execution pin and we want to get it from our um, dragon dragon character or blueprint class that we create together so in here we say get location to look at okay and in here we can just connect this to here and know we have that location that we want right so let's just put this here so it will be more beautiful or we can just connect all of this head queue now everything is cool and if we compile and go to anim graph in here we can use that uh, variable that we just create get it in here and set it in here now if we compile and run our game we can do whatever we want in it it's just doing a great job for us right so you can see everything cool and if we jump again we can look at here and here and our dragon is look at wherever we want wherever the most is pointed right everything cool so that was it guys for this video i hope you like it please 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 if you want to help me and you like this video hit that like button it helps me a lot thank you thank you very much for watching bye